Let's look at some application of the sine and cosine rules. Now in this uh, triangle, we need to show that PQ is equal to F sine X sine Y sine Y minus X. Now the first thing we want to do is to actually identify the two triangles. Now this is quite simple. We've got PRS as our one triangle. And then we have PSQ as our other triangle. And PRS is not a right angle triangle where PSQ is a right angle triangle. So um, when we see a right angle triangle, we immediately think of our ratio sine um, sine of theta is, is opposite of hypotenuse and so on. And then when we see a not right angle triangle, we think either sine rule or cosine rule. So to start off with, um, we're going to say, or we want to find a link. So so the, the side that links the two triangles is this PS. So what we want to do is to get PQ in terms of the link and then to f get the link in terms of F. And then we're just substituting. Now our link, so identifying our link, we saw our link is, is PS. Now to start off, I'm going to say um, that for the first thing we want to get PQ in, in terms of the link. So PQ runs along here and um, our link is over here. So that means we're going to start working in, in triangle PSQ. And this is a right angled. And then um, to, to actually put PQ and PS in, in one expression, uh, this is from this angle here, Y, we've got opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite over hypotenuse is sine. So sine Y is equal to PQ over PS. And once again, we look at this and we see we want to find PQ in terms of the link. So that means um, we need to isolate PQ. So to do that, I'm just going to take this PS up. So PQ is equal to PS sine Y. So that's the first half of our question done. Now um, we need to find the link in terms of F. So this means we need um, this side and this side together in an expression. And um, what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to try sine. So if I have this side and this side in sine, I need the two opposite um, angles. So I need this angle, which I got is X. And then this one, if I want to find this one, I can say that this, there's two ways I can do it. Let's just do it um, by, by interior angles of triangle. This is then 180 minus um, Y for angles on a straight line. And then to find this one, I say um, that that R, RPS is equal to, so angles in a triangle, that's going to be 180 minus this X minus this angle, which is 180 minus Y. And then to simplify that, we have 180 minus X minus 180 plus Y. So these guys will add up to zero. So here we have uh, minus x plus y to write it in simplest form y minus x so this is then y minus x so to apply the sine rule over there um, we have in triangle um, prs so p r s and then um, sine so we want to find the link in terms of f so let's start with the link the link is p s so p s over sine of x is equal to f over sine of y minus x. All right, and then um, I want to find the link in terms of f, so I'm going to isolate this link. So I'm just going to take the sine x up. So ps is equal to f sine x over sine y minus x. All right, so we're almost there. Since we have, we've got this expression now, We've got this expression. So all that's left is to take these two. So see here we've got PS and here we've got PS. So we need to take this and substitute it in there. Now to find to do that, we say PQ is equal to. So this PS I replace with this whole thing over here. So that's F sine X over sine Y minus X. And then that's times by this sine y. So 
sim uh, simplest form will then just be uh, let's just rewrite it here so pq is equal to f sine x sine y over sine y minus x and then we've proved our expression.